shit thing, you know. All right, guys. We'll do a little bit of a clickbaity video with my <laughs> friend Brian Glick. We'll do three ways to look legit in jiu-jitsu right off the bat, right? And the way to look really legit is what they call a situational dilemma, right? Where you're doing these double attacks, like in chess, it could be like a fork where your knight is attacking two pieces at the same time. Uh, I've been watching Queen Gambit. <laughs> Actually, no, I haven't. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so these are three ways that you could uh, immediately start uh, attacking in sort of a more advanced method. Right. And uh, I hope this really helps. If you like it, go check out Brian's channel. Thank you. Yeah, so we're gonna look at, uh, these are just things that you probably already know, the tax you already know, the, the thing that makes the difference is how you put them together and when you put them together. When you start chaining techniques together, like in judo, that's when things really start to happen. You know, the one-off techniques, they're good, but being able to chain them together, yeah. not so, uh, that, that's where the magic kind of happens. So let's take a look first, partners inside the guard, you're gonna catch the Gigi Gatami. So you're gonna climb your way up, you're gonna scoop, and here you are, classic Gigi position. Your partner pulls this arm free. You're gonna switch here to your partner's elbow, raise your hips, come back around for the trap triangle, draw your partner in, and you have the triangle. So this is a classic dilemma because as you go to defend, a lot of times um, you're pulling that arm out, leaving one arm free. Okay, nice. so our next one here is we're going to catch the neck and drive. We're going to trap our partner here in the triangle. A lot of times out of this, your partner will go to posture up and start to straighten. We're going to take our hand. We're going to roll our partner's wrist to the outside, turning their palm up, keeping your knee high, driving your knee in, and you have here a version of the straight juji right out of the triangle. So this is another one. The triangle entry, you can use just about any entry. Go into it, you see the guy starting to straighten and you see this even at very high level competition. The straight arm lock is there waiting for you. And then the last one comes also out of the triangle here where we're controlling the wrist and the head, any triangle entry that you choose. And your partner maybe is worried about your first attack, so your partner starts to hide this. And when you see this hand hiding, now you've got an entry into the omoplata. So when we do omoplata here, we take the feet, from down by our partner's back, we rotate here, you have your extension, sit up, control your partner, and now from here, you're into a whole other series of attacks. So these three are very basic. You've got your arm, your um, arm lock into the triangle, you have your triangle back into the arm lock, and then you have the triangle into omoplata. If you can string these things together, all of a sudden, your attacks will go from being these individual attacks to being a long chain. So three ways to immediately be a purple belt in the uh, That's exactly that's right. right. <laughs> that's 100% right.